What is up all forms of social media? James, Joseph, Edward, Jesperger Jr., but please call me Jimmy for short. Today we're tuning in for another episode of Pokemon Shield. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into this. Okay, so last time we left off right here, we just defeated this youngster Jake twin again or Taylor or something. Uh, I kind of am tempted. Oh, I got a repel. I'm kind of tempted to see if there's any new Pokemon here, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, and I hit a Nicket. <laughs> what level is Grookey? 11. I think he evolves at 13 or 15. Okay, I'm good. Looks like we could have another battle here with somebody. Can I sit on the bench? Oh, I can. Oh, that's so cool. <gasps> I can fish. I didn't even think about that. Whoa, we're gonna fish. We're gonna fish. Hold on. Why can't I fish? It won't let me fish. What? Is it because I'm not proficient with a fishing rod yet? Okay, let's go see what they have to say. Look, there's the professor. Yeah, like, I don't know already. So have you unraveled all the secrets of di of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh no, gosh, you stupid asshole. Oh goodness, no. The only thing is still full of questions. I've hoped, I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but she doesn't want to do that. Who are you? Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guess. This is a completely different voice than I gave her the first time. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. I have assortment of treats, and what do kids like? Candy? Why? Hop, dear. I see Wooloo has made some new friends. And you must be... Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I don't know. Jimmy, I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll you'll have it complete in no... Who are you? You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Jimmy? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. I love how they just let him talk for everything. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. What did I say before, Giga? There you go, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. Why did? Why don't you just tell them everything? Why don't you be the professor? Here, take my life code. He's like, oh, no, 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 no. There are other things that are worth knowing about, too, you know. Like how many different Pokemon of tea there are. What? Oh. <laughs> Did not read that right at all. Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor. Do us a favor, would you? Could you just shut the fuck up? How many convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge? Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Jimmy only just started out as Pokemon trainers, so... There's still loads they don't know yet. Deary, I thought you dre your dream was to have you everyone in Galar region become strong. Why? You scared? You little scared baby trainers? Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. The goal is precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Hop over there just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right then. In that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Oh, you're gonna heal both of our Pokemon? You, th you just have that magical power to heal both of us? Right, I'll be waiting outside, Jimmy. Is this a futuristic freaking world? Look at the freaking fridge. Oh yeah, it's got scratches on it, but it also has like a touch screen on it. Hurry it up, Jimmy. You've gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need the endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course, Hop. You're going a little crazy here. I'm rather interested seeing how you two young, fit, supple trainers battle too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to see where I am today. So, show me some good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. Go! 
weak Pokemon. Did he catch anything actually while we were on the road? You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Hop. Okay, he sends out Wool. Oh, he, only, he has three Pokemon. I forget which one he got on the road. Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to the test and see. Okay, well, let's use Branch Poke. Once. I want to make sure I keep Branch Poke for Sopple. Okay, we'll lose Tackle. Which does, like, nothing to Puddles. And then Scratch. Wooloo fainted. Everybody gained experience points, so Puddles is now level 12. Puddle wants to use Razor... Oh, Supple's going down. Wants to, lose, wants to use Razor Leaf. I'm going to get rid of Growl. One. A two-hoo! And ta-da! That's not how the saying goes. Puddles forgot Growl. And it learned Razor Leaf instead. Blue Ball to get a crew to level 10. We almost forgot his name. Butters got to level 8. And he'll go back out to level 9. Pokemon Trainer Hop is about to send out a Rookity. Would you like to switch Pokemon? Nah, I'm good. He's saving his best for, la best for last. Uh, not very effective. So the only thing that works is Scratch. Rookity used Peck. Peck. <laughs> Josh Peck? You used Josh Peck? Scratch again. This thing's going down. I've only used Grookey in this entire battle. And I I think I'm only going to use Grookey because he only has Sopple left. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. It'll be a close one. I have five other Pokemon. Oh, is Sopple's level eight? Oh, are we going to go for the kill? Let's see what Razor Leaf does on the first hit. Sorry, Sopple. Well, look at you. Seems you've really learned your type matchups. He died on the first attack. Your Pokemon have gained experience. Hulu got to level 8. Hulu learned Copycat. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. Ugh. Gutted that I lost. But I expect nothing less from my rival. And I'm just like, I don't think I'm your rival. <laughs> Don't think I'm your rival. I even got my Pokeball throw perfect, too. You think that's going to help you in a battle, bro? The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? My first Pokemon is always going to defeat his Pokemon, so that's why I think I'm going to fight Leon at the end, because Charizard is going to knock out Grookey. Like, I think Leon's more of my rival than Hop is. Jimmy, hop. Well, after... <laughs> Jimmy, hop. Right now. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I've little I've little choice but to give you both an endorsement as a ch as champion. Here's your invisible rod. <laughs> invisible thing. Here's your invisible thing. You obtained a letter of endorsement. Oh, so it literally is a letter of recommendation. Yes. Thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win with my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our body. Hope, hop, hope, hope you need hope. <laughs> You've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. And you, Jimmy. I like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Jimmy. All right, Jimmy. Not all left. All right. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for the champion's title. And I'm just like... <laughs> I'm just literally like, yeah, I don't want to be a champion. I just want to catch Pokemon. <laughs> like, the more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? Can I use my fishing rod yet? <laughs> I'm just over here like, can I have a fishing rod? Oh, look, from us battling. Oh, he picked up both. He gets to keep both. Jimmy, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. Yeah, like, if you don't hand it over, I'm going to beat your ass with my Pokemon. You obtained a wishing star. 
Uh, a stone found in the Galar region with a mysterious power. It's said that your dreams come true if you find one. Well, what am I... Do I get to pick up from a list of dreams that I want to happen? With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're going to be massive. Yes. Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know? And I'm just like, I don't have anything. <laughs> I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. <laughs> and Magnolia is just like, okay, which one of you? Uh, I know who Hop is now. I will be the, oh, that was a lot. That was kind of like a Doki Doki Literature Club thing there. There, I said it three times. So surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop, as you hop around. I wonder where you got your name. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Galar region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have three- I mean, I'll have this all sorted out for you. Ah, right. You've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, Give Jimmy and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First, we got to battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumbering wield. And now at this, it really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. I may be younger in a short amount of time. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Uh, oh, and then Sonia comes out of nowhere. Seems I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. <laughs> Hop in his stance again. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to surely start. He just randomly says that, and then she's like, Oh, good morning to you too, bitch! <laughs> Young challengers! Hop, it is true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize. Is there anything more you can tell about it? Eh, uh, well, there was weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Jimmy tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy, like the mist, get it? I made a joke. Did you know? I just noticed the backpack looks like it has one of those, like, the baseball sign for, like, the major leagues on his backpack. That's interesting. A right font of information you are. Jimmy Hop, though, these are for you. I took the wishing power out of them, and you can have the power to make your Pokemon bigger, I guess. You got a Dynamax band from Professor Magnolia and slipped it on your wrist. A wishing star has been affixed to it. It lets out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when, a, when at a power spot. Those are your Dynamax bands. They don't have wishes, but I made them fitting this wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? Can you stop moving your arms like that? I think you'll find it's not as sim so simple as that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and, and uh, take on that gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go out to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help fill they that will help fill out your Pokedex too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Jimmy. I'll beat you to the station. And I'm like, I have to be on a train with this fucker. I have to be in a train with this guy. Alright, there's no new Pokemon. If I fight something that I'll just level up Grookey. One last thing before we race, Jimmy. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how you sometimes see Pokemon get wandering out on the uh, out of the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow like and crouch down, these Pokemon don't even pay any you any attention. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. I completely forgot about that in this game, so you can whistle the Pokemon like to get their attention. 
if you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. Ha ah, ah, ha, get it, stick? Try it out, and let's see who catches the most Pokemon, Jimmy. Me. <laughs> you remember Wedgehurst Station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before. That'll be the goal, so see you there. It's like, okay, bye. <laughs> I used a Pokeball. Doot doot. Doot doot. Doot doot. Woo! See? I was about to leave early. I would have missed out on a Zigzagoon. I know exactly what I'm going to call him. Even though I kind of hate the name sometimes. I'm going to name him Ziggy. I forgot what that word is when you when the Pokemon's a different color. Not rare. So out with it, Jimmy. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one. And you got yourself... Oh, just one. Looks like we're at a draw. What? Just one Pokemon? I caught like... I, bought, I caught like 12 of them. Or plus. Then we are rivals and all that, so that's fair. You obtained TM40 Swift. I put it in my bag. It's a move. That's a technical machine. A TM mate. Uh, mate? Do they all have different accents? With a TM like that, you could teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach the move swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in Motostoke. Motostoke? And our train's waiting, so let's go. I don't have to buy any tickets or anything. I just go straight with him. I love how all the, the fawn is, like, unknown Pokemon. Not so fast, you two! Look, it's both our moms together walking in synchronized unison. Kind of weird. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day would come since the moment you chose Sobble as a partner, dear darling. Professor Magnolia... Do you guys have the same voice? Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a little last gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. You obtained a set of camping gear. This is something new that I really enjoyed too with the like actually camping and like doing the whole like process of being a Pokemon trainer. Everything you need to set up a tent and getting get cooking in a wild area or a camping spot. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. Just think how lucky you are. Better to be the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next. You'll see. Oh, of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. We're off. Oh, do they really have to do the unison thing? I, like, Hop's mom's eyes are like, okay, my Hop moms are like... Wish us luck. Now that not that we need it. I just hurt my eyeballs doing that. <laughs> there are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than that train can go, Jimmy. Come on, we're off. Whoop. Are we just tapping to the beat. Motostoke is surrounded by it. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Oh, I should probably put this out there. Uh, I'll say it after this. Please, uh, plus you can camp out and do a, and do a spot of fishing. I don't think. I wanted to say that if I do see an evolved Pokemon, unless I don't know it's the evolved Pokemon, I always try and get the lowest form and then evolve it. Like I don't like having multiples of Pokemon and stuff. Hey, Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes, uh, this is the wild area station. Make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. Oh, those damn Wooloo. Trying to break fences and trying to break down trains. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. Brilliant. This wild area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Jimmy? This is the best possible place to put together. The greatest team. I also should say, spoiler alert, um... When you get out to the field, it's Pokemon of like 
all levels. Like it could, you could randomly hit a Pokemon of like level 30. It's like Breath of the Wild when you first get out into the wild. It's crazy. Music's beautiful. Look at that. If I'd never been out of the house before, I feel like he's explaining everything I feel like I would have done before. That's Moto Stoke. Way off that way. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello. And if it isn't Sonia. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey. But what are you doing with your life? Uh, that sounds rough. Ah, <laughs> uh, never mind you that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran. Omit, I've got some talent. Yikes. Being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? And he's calling the 16-year-old an adult. I, I, I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been aging. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can. I'm going to battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in the tale of my legend. Okay, Hop. You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon, too, if you want to take an, on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a real little treat from me? Oh, Hop didn't get anything. And look at me over here like, oh, I get it. I get the box link. A device that allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. There are some places where it won't work. Oh, cool. So I can, I forgot about that. You can access your boxes. With a Pokemon box, box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes. Or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like. And fill in some more of your Pokedex. The wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. With a nice little button. Oh, there's trees. There's grass. There's water. And my new adventure... Okay, what's the first Pokemon we see out here? <gasps> oh, shit. Okay, so I fought this Onix before, and I think it's way too powerful for me. If you try battling it, it seems like you're in over your head. Try to run. Uh, let's try it. I do have a Grass-type Pokemon, so... Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. We're running. Never mind. <laughs> Man, I thought it would at least be weak or something against the grass type stuff. Man. Let's catch one of these honeycomb Pokemon. I'm guessing this is the first level of it. Cumby. Oh, it's like Gumby. Yay. I caught a Cumby. Combi. I think it's Combi. He's like a comb. A honeycomb. A bug and flying. Cool. Well, I feel like bugs could fly anyway. I'm gonna name you Gumby. Ooh. Min... Mincino? Mincino? Yay. This might be... The first name I thought of when I saw this Pokemon uh, was something interesting that I don't know what its evolved forms are gonna be, if it even has evolved forms. Okay, is it normal type? Yes. The first thing I thought of for some strange reason was Stitch. Well, there's something different. Oh, it's the bunny Pokemon. Bunnelby, or Bunnelby. Cool. It is a normal type. No, I forgot to give it a nickname. I guess Bunnelby will be fine for now. Bunnelby. Oh, there it is.
There's a bit of energy trickling out of the den. You gain 50 W... Oh, I forgot. Because some of them are like, you battle and some of them are like, you gain this extra light power to do as you please. Man, they must put an onyx at the beginning of all these levels just to fuck with you. All different Pokemon. Oh, it's the it's the fighting Pokemon. Yep, there was one right behind it too, so I just wanted to see how much damage it would do. Not great to kill Pokemon. <laughs> okay, there's one right behind it. Please be level nine or ten. Yay! Fisslin. Fisslin. Go to the box. Some of them are so far gone, and some of them are high levels, too. Roselia. Oh, it's kind of higher level. Almost had it. Let's try it one more time. If not, I'll try and attack it again, I guess. Nah. Nah. Yeah, I'm gonna run. Oh, what? And that just wastes my turn, too. Well. Welp. Uh, I don't have any revives, either. Okay, I guess I'm going to the trainer spot. I mean, I can always come back to here and level up, level up my Pokemon and then come back. I don't remember dying that fast last time. And there's a ton of Pokemon I could have caught, too. I could have caught at least five of those Pokemon. Whoa. It really is the Motor City, I guess you could call it. Oh, look at that Onyx. The one that probably beat me in the fucking forest. Grasslands. Oh, look, the champion signal and everything. Hey, look at me! I'm a Pokeball mascot! Oh, the Pokemon I just caught. Hey! Over here! Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like, you're, like your truck ran your Pokemon ragged, though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. Yeah, no shit. That's what I was trying to do. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick out of. If you're a real trainer and all. You got Leon's League card. Okay. But Motostoke sure is big, right? Not to worry. Sonya is here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. The opening ceremony, huh? I got a bit worked up when I think... When I think how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. Me and the original six team. Okay. By the way, you may be able to see a rare Pokemon at Wedgehurst Station now. What? Okay, I want Pokeballs. How many can I buy? Whoa. I mean, I'm gonna need them. Let's do 160. And he gave me a Premier Ball in the house. And I'll buy six potions. Uh, you know what? Give... Oh, revive. I don't even have enough for revive, so never mind. Cool. Oh, no, no trick of the trade with that. Uh, you were just waiting out for me. Waiting out here for me, huh? So, brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area. Do you remember what your goal in Motostoke is? I'm here for the gym challenge, right? Yep, the gym challenge opening ceremony. Let me just do everything for you now. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at Motostoke Stadium, okay? Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Well, laters, I'm going to swing by the shops while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? 
Okay, bye. You didn't really walk me around, but okay. Oh, there we go. I forgot how fishing works in this game. Oh, you just let it in the hit A. Okay. As always, thank you guys so much. My name is James Joseph Edward Jesperger Jr., but please call me Jimmy for short, and I'll always see you guys in the next one. Peace.